Hello YouTube, this is your boy, traditional woman lover, and today's topic is about if you make less than 30k a year, are you able to get a submissive woman? And um, where I want to start is this, um, I'll say this, in general, the more money you make, the easier it will find to find a woman that is submissive to you, but is it possible if you don't make that much, let's say you make only 30k or less, uh, can you possibly find a woman that would allow you to be head of the household and um, and be the man of the house? And it's very possible. But here's the thing. Um, in the U.S., it's a little bit more difficult. If you're willing to travel, you can easily find it. And I'll give you some examples. For example, um, what you'll notice, especially in a lot of the Latin American countries and even in some parts of East Asia, a lot of times you would see... Um, Married couples living in shacks um, in parts of the Philippines, they're literally you'll see families that are um, living in tents, sometimes on the streets. And um, you rarely see the woman cussing the man out. I mean, she's very submissive to her, her husband. So I'm not saying um, I'm not saying be a, a bum. But what I, what I am saying is that if you're a decent guy, you got a decent job. Let's say that you're like a, a bank, some type of. You know, you work at a bank or let's say that you work um, as a manager at some type of grocery store or something like that. It's still very possible to find a woman overseas that will be submissive to you and be more than willing to um, more than willing to marry you and allow you to be the head of the household. In many countries outside of the U.S., the women are very feminine. They respect traditional roles. And um, the biggest thing is that. Um, because if you think about it, te technically, even in the U.S., sometimes you'll see men who really are sometimes don't have money, but they still have they still able to get a girlfriend. You even see cases in which you will have a guy dating a girl and then the, the woman is literally taking care of the man. Um, there's been instances even when I used to work where one woman told me she was married to a guy. He lost his job and he kind of refused to get another job, but she was still footing the bill and that kind of thing. So. I'm not saying, once again, I'm not saying uh, don't get a job. I'm not saying be a bum. But what I am saying is, you know, a lot of times there's debates on whether or not, you know, as far as like the high value thing and so forth, you know, it has a lot of people thinking that, you know, unless you make exactly 100K that you're not going to be able to find a woman that will submit to you and, um, you know, let, and allow you to be the head of the household and respect your role as the leader of the household just because you don't make 100K. And that's that's not really true. But. You know, in their defense, what I will say, though, is, yeah, once you start making that kind of money, of course, of course, the woman is going to have to kind of cater to you because it's not that many of you um, as everyone has as people are coming to notice is that there's only 10 percent of Americans make over 100,000 a year. It's not that many. You know, it's not that many people. You know, the average is around, you know, 50K to 60,000. And in many cases, there's people making less than that, you know, Um you know, especially in regards to some government jobs, but I say this, I say that to say all of this, the biggest thing is, uh, you just need to, um, you know, find a woman that is, um, you know, there, there was a dating coach that once said the way he, he kind of went about things is he generally looks at the women who are interested in him and he chooses the best out of those women. And I say that to say that what you have to do is you generally want to look for a woman that's kind of, in a sense, under your spell. She kind of, you know, she's very, very interested in you. You know, she's catering to you. And I say, you know, if you want, you know, so so here's the thing. As I said before, when people show you who they are, believe them. If the woman is, is, is you know, very uh, rebellious, she's talking down to you. You know, you'll have to constantly pass her test. Uh, very loud mouth. Then more than likely, you know, she's not going to be submissive, even if, you know, you make a little bit more money. And, and I say that to say that sometimes a lot of guys are, um, you know, game is one thing. But the thing is, a lot of times, you know, you'll have guys ask a question like ask the things like, oh, um, you know, I'm dealing with this girl. I said this to her. She said this. How do I get her to do this? 
And Myron Gaines from Fresh and Fit said he made a very good point. And and one of the things somebody asked him was, how do you deal with a woman that's very, I'll say, rebellious or has a lot, you know, has a or is kind of like, you know, gives you know, does a lot of talking back. And generally, what he said is, you don't deal with those women. Like, wh why put yourself in a position and have to out intellectual, you know, out outsmart her into getting her to be submissive? Why not just deal with a woman that is submissive and don't deal with the other ones? If they're acting like a diva, you know, they're, you know, disrespectful, have a hatred for men, think women should, you know, be the head of the household, that kind of thing. You just don't deal with those women in general. So going back to my point, as I said, what you want to look for is women who are in general or in general, general are you know feminine. They respect men. They respect the roles. They're submissive. And and if you're willing to travel, especially to the DR, to Brazil, Colombia, the Philippines, Thailand, you will find lots and lots and lots of women that will be very, very submissive. As long as you're a man that can provide for them, again, you can provide for them. It's not so much, you know, the amount that you make. It's more so do you have a, you know, you have a place to stay, you have your own car, um, you can provide, you know, obviously funds for both you and your girl if you can kind of do that you can find a decent girl now i'm not saying um you're going to have as many options obviously as a guy who's making 100k 150k or guys making like 70k that kind of thing but what i am saying is that just myself from experience when traveling you will find plenty of women that'll be willing to date a decent guy especially a guy from the u.s the uk canada one of pretty much from a first world country that's you know able to at least provide for himself and do well you will find some women you just gotta be a present you know biggest thing is just staying within your masculine masculine frame uh and just showing her that you can be a good leader you can provide for her you can care for her um if you're willing to do that if you can do that you know because for example let's say like you're a guy who makes 30k but at the same time let's say maybe you inherited a house from like your family or maybe make 30k you have your own apartment you're in a decent area and you know you don't have any debt because maybe you didn't go to college and that kind of thing um but you and you still have enough money left over though 30k is a pretty tight budget but nevertheless if you have your own car already you have your own place and um you're in a good place in your life where you know you really feel like you can kind of you know f you know you're looking for that right woman you definitely can find a woman that will be submissive to you and become your dream wife or your dream girlfriend. I definitely would recommend going to the Dominican Republic or go to uh, the Philippines or, you know, or any country really in, you know, South America, Brazil. Um, I haven't been to Argentina, but, you know, any of the countries, you know, such as Panama and that kind of thing, there's plenty of women there that be more than willing to be willing to marry you. If you just consider within their own country, a lot of these men there, they don't have that much money. They still get the submission. Their women still cook for them, still cook and clean for them, have kids by them. And um, and so what I'm saying to you to, to end this video, because I want to keep it too long, is the biggest thing I would say is just, you know, work on yourself. Um... So all the men out there, you know, obviously, is, you know, try to, you know, better your financial situation as much as possible before you bring another person to the States. But you definitely, even if you make under 30, 30 K, you definitely could still find a submissive woman. Don't listen to all this uh, stuff going on in the U.S. with women saying uh, you don't make enough for me to submit to you and, and all this other crap. This is just not a lot of modern women's talking points. But if you're looking for a traditional woman, you definitely can find one overseas. And I'm going to end it on that joint. And um, peace out, YouTube.